Hi everyone. Some of you may be a little surprised to see me working with a smaller tree this week. Though those of you who bought my ebook will recognize this tree immediately. This tree's name is Point of Origin. And the reason for that is simple. This is my first ever bonsai. By that I mean this is the first real bonsai I ever had, excluding attempts in childhood. This one was given to me as a Christmas gift by my family way back in 1991, and it's been with me ever since. Now, this is a Procumbens Juniper, and it is 23 years old, 22, 23 years old, plus whatever age it had on it when uh, its original creator made it. It came from a bonsai nursery in Gardena, California, which is no longer there. The owner has since uh, retired and sold the land. And um, it's uh, been my constant companion through good times and bad for many, many years. Now, it didn't always look like this. What you're seeing now is the front. When I originally got it, this was the front, and there was a branch, and you can barely see the pruning scar right here. This was the original back branch. It was in a little blue hexagonal pot. It was somewhat smaller than this, and it had a nice little triangular rock behind it. But bone size are living, growing things, and they change over time, and due to subtle changes in the trunk inclination and the branch structure. Several years ago it had to be reworked and repositioned and what was originally the front of the tree became the back. This is a photo of point of origin taken in September of 2003 showing it at an intermediate point in its development. This is helpful in showing how far this tree has come in the past 10 years. The reason we're working on it right now is because it is an obvious need of a repot. You can tell that because although it is pushing new growth all over the tree, the new growth is somewhat yellow. And this is not just because the tree is in dormancy right now, this is also because the tree has leached all of the phosphorus out of the soil. There's still nitrogen in the soil, which is why it's still growing. If, it, if there weren't, it wouldn't be growing at all. And when you start seeing growth, but it's all yellow like this, it's a phosphorus deficiency, and it's time to repot and get some fertilizer on the tree. So let's see if we can get it out of the pot here and get started on a repot. Now this one's pretty simple because it's small. We can just wiggle it and take it right out of the pot like that. And we'll talk about pots a little. This is uh, the original pot, and it's some medium depth oval. It's not hash marked, it's probably Chinese in manufacture, and it's uh, a mass produced pot. It doesn't have any imperfections, and it's not a bad pot, but this being a very special little tree, we want something much better. So, last summer, while we were on hiatus during my travels, I acquired this. This is a Japanese tokoname ware pot. It's not an ultra top of the line pot made by an individual artist, otherwise it would have two hash marks, one for the artist and one for the kiln. But it does have a single hash mark, very well and clearly defined. And of course the Made in Japan sticker, and if you look at it, it's a really nice pot, has a really good shape, and it's going to complement the tree quite beautifully. This tree being smaller, we don't have to have the garden wagon or anything big. We can actually just take over the tub here and start working the soil loose. Now the tree has colonized the pot with roots very nicely and there's nothing dead or rotten here which means that the previous soil has been doing its job. It's just that it's completely depleted. You may also notice that it's got a pretty good head of moss going around the base of the trunk. 
We're not going to remove all of that, but we do have to remove most of that because if you don't, what happens is it rots the wood at the base and you can end up with a reverse taper on the tree which is just not desirable. So we'll see what we can save out of that while we continue working the soil loose here. Before we get Point of Origin settled into its new home, we wanted to do just a little bit of cleanup pruning just to take care of any rough edges so it will look nice in its new pot. So we're just taking off a little bit here and a little bit there. Now you'll notice when we got the moss off the base that we uncovered a massive trunk for the size of the tree. Unfortunately, it also put a lot of roots up into the moss, which these junipers are wont to do, and so we had to do some cleanup work on the roots here as well. We also had to shave quite a bit off the bottom of the root bowl in order to fit it into the new shallower pot. So what we'll do now is there's one branch here that could stand a little bit of wiring to bring it right over like this, and then after that we'll establish the tree in its new pot. Point of origin was last repotted about three years ago. Older trees tend to be able to go longer without repotting, and this is definitely an old tree. What we're doing now is establishing its position in the new pot, and what we're going to do is go a little bit off center to the viewer's left, and then tilt it just a little bit to the right from its previous uh, potting angle in order to get a uh, better, uh, more, better aesthetic on the main trunk line. So I'm going to just take a look at it here and I need to add just a little bit of soil on the left side here. The soil is following my usual mix, but I'm using a little more organic matter than usual, partly in order to avoid red spider mite problems in the hot weather and partly because procumbens junipers tend to like a little moisture, little more moisture than other varieties. Okay, we've got point of origin into its new pot. We're replacing some of the moss that we took off earlier just to give the tree an established appearance in the pot. We did not wire it into the pot because it already has a well-established and properly shaped root ball so it's going to sit in the pot very stable without having to be wired in and I expect it's going to send new roots out to the edges of the pot fairly quickly. Now the last thing remaining for us to do with uh, the tree is give it a nice watering and then we can put it back on its home on the bench work and it should be happy for another couple of years with regular waterings and fertilizers. So let's take it over and water it a little. Now we can see soil residue running out the bottom of the pot onto the pavement here and that's our clue that the water has penetrated all the way through and saturated the entire pot. Instead of a slow 360 this time, what we decided to do is show you point of origin back in its home on the bench work where it spends just about all of its time and where it's happiest. So here is Point of Origin in all its glory in a new Tokonami ware pot sitting in its home where it's been for now the uh, past 12 years in this house and with me and several other houses and apartments through my life this has been one constant. Thank you for watching folks.